As Kenyans continue to adjust to the high cost of living, the question that begs is how the government is looking into the issue. During this year's Mashujaa Day celebrations held in Kericho County, President Ruto said his administration has put in place measures to caution farmers and maximize on food production to sustain the food supply chain. Our focus on effectively lowering the cost of living is based on increased agricultural productivity and expanding land and other resources for production. Ruto says by the end of July 2023, his government had distributed over 3.5 million bags of fertilizer to registered farmers in the country. We have rolled out an agricultural support program that has provided farmers with access to fertilizer, affordable credit, and extension services. By end of July, we had distributed 3.5 million bags of region-specific crop fertilizers in 41 counties to registered farmers working with county governments for last mile delivery. For the first time in Kenya, fertilizer was distributed on the basis of acreage and the crops that farmers produce via a digital e-voucher platform. He is therefore hopeful for a bumper harvest. We have placed over 200,000 acres under cultivation, which is more than last year, we are looking forward to a bountiful 44 million bags from the long rain season and 61 million bags overall for both seasons, marking an impressive increase of over 40 percent in relation to last year. The head of state further urging unregistered farmers to use the opportunity and be registered as part of the system. The government has also announced support to farmers willing to plant during the short rain season. Fertilizer support for the short rains crop is now available at National Cereals and Produce Board depots for regions that planned in this season, including central Kenya, eastern and western parts of the country. I urge all unregistered farmers to use this opportunity to register so that they can benefit from the support of fertilizer for all their crops, whether it is tea, coffee, sugarcane, macadamia, avocados, and all the other crops that are engaged with our farmers. To reduce the cost of edible oils, which is already high, Ruto has something for sunflower farmers. Our national edible oil import bill which currently stands at $1 billion annually. The government is supporting sunflower cultivation by distributing 600 metric tons of seed to farmers in partnership with counties in eastern and western Nyanza regions during these short rains. Agriculture Principal Secretary Kelo Hasama in May said the country is spending 120 billion shillings annually to import edible oil. We are working with counties on other oil crops to deliberately reduce our import bill on oil and edible oil requirements for our country. Kenyans consume more than 600,000 metric tons annually, but production is less than 40%. Franklin Wala, K24 TV.